Wednesday, March 5th, marked the third anniversary of the onset of Kilauea Volcano's four-day-long Kamoa Moa Fissure eruption. According to the latest Volcano Watch article by the scientists of the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, the brief episode marked the end of the eruptive vent established east of Pu'u'u in 2007 and presaged a return of activity to Pu'u'u that continues today. So I was uh, out there in 97 when uh, the previous one occurred in that area. <clears throat> and that was only a little less than 24 hours. Uh, this one went on for four days. And that was part of the coolness in that, uh, you know, we, we kind of knew what had happened in 97. And so we were right on it with the Kamal Moa Fisher uh, doing the mapping and, and the sampling. And, um, and we really got uh, a good data set out of that. It really helped us figure out what went on. Those who keep an eye on the volcano for a living ended up with some good stories to tell about what's considered to be one of Hawaii's most spectacular geological events of the last decade. It's a visceral experience to watch this. You know, it's so organic. It's the birth of the earth. So we sent out this uh, geologist in this helicopter and he overflew Pu'u'u'u and noticed that, yeah, the crater floor is gone. But he didn't notice anything else in his first pass. And then he was over Pu'u'u'u and he and the pilot looked over their shoulders a little bit uprift and they saw a fissure eruption that had just started. So what did they do? Like any good geologist, he landed and he took a video. Check this out. This is what he saw. Keep your eye on this area here. It's starting to steam. And on this area here, the cracks are getting bigger. You'll see chunks fall in. And you'll see now it's starting to spatter right there. More and more gas coming out. A real big chunk is about to fall in right here. Yep, you can see lava right there. There's the, here's the, here goes the big chunk. There's, there's the spatter there. There it goes. And it's time to move. <laughs> For a volcanologist, this is about the coolest thing in the world. Having a fissure eruption almost, you know, that's, uh, that's stunning. Everybody was pretty happy for me, I think, to have that on my first day. I didn't really have much to compare it to. I hadn't really had any experience with volcanoes prior to that. But seeing that eruption, uh, I knew it was something special. And, and kind of as, as the other helicopters showed up on the scene and the, there was lots of talk on the radio, very quickly... You know, I, I heard people who've, who've been flying out here for 15, 20 years that they were seeing, seeing this stuff for the first time. They'd never seen anything like it. And I kind of keyed in pretty quick that this was special. And by the time I got there, uh, Calvin Doyle, my boss, was actually already there in one of our other helicopters, the 407 with a film crew. And they were doing uh, film work. And I just kind of happened to be at the right place at the right time and got some pretty neat photos of the, the Hughes 500s with the volcano in the background.